Hey everyone, how's it going? If you're new here, I'm Samantha. I go by Thrifty on a Dime on all my social media platforms. So I usually talk just reselling online, but I've kind of taken a shift in my venture and I opened a storefront in my hometown. I'm so excited to be able to bring affordable clothing, um, name brand clothing, as well as good quality clothing to my community. Um, I do have a Facebook group, so you can find me at Thrifty Finds with a Z on Facebook, and you can get added to that. I do offer shipping for some items. Sorry, my cat just jumped off the couch. That's why it bounced. But anyways, <laughs> if you're not already, oh, and there goes my dog. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm going to be sharing all kinds of updates and how things are going for me, um, as well as stuff like this. This is a mystery box. I should say mystery boxes. I bought two jewelry, one Carhartt, one Lululemon, and I can't remember the other one. Oh, jeans. Name brand, or not name brand, like Premier Denim or something like that. So mystery boxes from America's Thrift Supply. So I found them on Facebook and I haven't like bit the bullet and bought from them before, but I did now. So uh, since I have a brick and mortar, it's kind of easier to sell more inventory rather than lift, uh, list one-offs on Poshmark or eBay and stuff like that. So I just want to share what I got and let you know if I actually liked uh, what I've gotten. Um, let me think. I didn't pay shipping because I spent more than two fifty. dollars and I think I paid $2.69. And yes, I'm going to be opening this <laughs> with a screwdriver because my oldest daughter bothered the scissors and I have no idea where those are. Um, and there goes my dog again. But here we go. Okay. So here it is. And I was a little nervous because I was like, that many mystery boxes in this little box? No way! So... Here we go, let's see what we got. Here is the Lululemon one. It's kind of nice though that they have them all separated rather than everything thrown in there because I would be like, ah, what's what? Okay, so the first item is just a Lululemon tank top. I do not see a tag on the item, so I'm not really for sure on sizing. I'll have to take a peek later. This one does have a tag and they are a size 10. I do believe these are like two and a half. My daughter just got a pair of these in black, but not this specific one, like the five inch ones. I think these are the two and a halves. Um, but yeah, that's a really good size. I like the collar as well. And another pair, this one does have the uh, tag as well. This is a size two. Wow, these are super short and tiny, but cute item. I know somebody's gonna want those. And then a pair of leggings. I'm not seeing the size. Let's see if it's on the inside of this. Sometimes they put it inside the pocket. Yep. So these are a size eight in Lululemon. Black, can't go wrong with black. Lots of people like black. And then a pair of pants. Okay, this one does have the regular, and I just ripped it out. <laughs> it did have the tag and they are a size four. But these ones are super cute. Look at the back here. So that's a really nice design. I'm going to keep this tag with it so I know what size. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so I purchased five pounds of jewelry. I'll probably do a separate video breaking down the jewelry because this is a lot of pieces. There's one. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. And two. So I... I purchased this before I did a garage sale buyout and the garage sale buyout that I did, they had like a hundred pieces of plunder jewelry. So I'm going to insert a picture just to show you what my shop looks like with the jewelry set up right now. So I'm busting at the seams with jewelry to be honest. So I wish I would have bought like another Lululemon or something because the only reason why I spent that much was to get free shipping because I mean it only made sense. Um, because when I was at like 220, the shipping made it like 260 anyway. So why not get product and make it, you know, um, the prices average with just a product rather than the product and shipping because shipping was like 30 or $40. Okay. So this is a large Carhartt. It looks like, oh, and it's new with tags. That's not too bad. $54 new with tags and it's a good size. 
Another Carhartt new with tag, 38 by 34. This is a good style of pant as well. Uh, another Carhartt. I guess those are not new with tag, but let me see what size they are because maybe you're interested. Um, they are a 34. I don't see the inseam right now, but if you're interested, let me know. These are a size 36 by 30, and these are a new tag as well. And there's the little insert. Yeah, I'll tell you the names of the exact boxes after. Another pair of Carhartt jean, and these ones are 36 by 34. The good thing about these is they're a cat too. Um, I feel like, no, maybe that's not. I know there's some that are flame resistant. I'll have to look, but I don't think Cat 2 is. But still, I need men's jeans, so I'm so glad that these are all men's. All right, here we go with jeans. So the jeans is called Premium Denim Supply Mystery Box, only five pair. Um, Miss Me, size 27. This is like a peach color, but I really like the pocket design, so that's a good, good design there. Judy Blue, okay, this is pretty decent, but they're a size three or 26, and it's the flare, which I feel like flare is in right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like people are wanting flares. All right, another pair of Miss Me's with the awesome pockets, and it's a size 27 as well. Um, and these are, I think, boot cut, it kind of looks like. Yeah, mid-rise, easy boot. Let's see, Polo, a Ralph Lauren. So these are men's, it looks like. Yeah, men's, size 34 by 32. Um, I wouldn't pick these up necessarily if I was buying one-offs, but being men's, if I could have got it cheap enough, I would have. All right, another pair of Miss Me's, size 27, and these are Signature Skinny. So my thoughts, let's see. Um, the premium denim box was five pair for $64. That means they're just like a little over 12 each. I probably wouldn't purchase that one again. Um, Miss Me, uh, is a good brand and yes, they retail for a lot, but as far as resale, it's really plummeted quite a bit. I would have rather these be Rock Revival. That would have been amazing, but, um, I still think I'm going to make a little bit more than my money into it. The Lululemon, again, the same thing. Um, I wouldn't have bought the tank tops out in the wild unless I could have got them like for half the price of what it was because it was $69.99 for the Lululemon and I got five pieces in that. Now the jewelry, um, it was five pounds for $39.99. I do think over time I'll make my money back, but I don't know if you can see. It is all just jumbled in here. So it is going to take quite a bit of time untangling everything. But jewelry, when you're pricing it at only $2.99 to $4.99, I mean, it's a really good deal for people um, to get a couple pieces and switch up in their wardrobe. So I do think I'll make money on that. And then the Carhartt one was only $49.99. I do feel like I'll make money on that as well. So I do understand that a lot of this is, the pricing is because if you purchase over $250, it's free shipping. So they kind of build it in the price to make you want to spend more than $250. But then they also have to, you know, put it in the price to accommodate for if somebody does purchase more than $250. So I do get that one. Um, being reselling online for so many years, but I will say I probably wouldn't buy this again. I might buy the jewelry one if I go through the jewelry, um, but I just have so much success at garage sales and doing garage sale buyouts or people just give me the rest of their garage sale leftovers that um, it really doesn't make it worth it to spend this much money on a mystery box, but I did want to try them out. And I would say everything was packed great. The shipping was super fast and the quality is there. So nothing that I've seen so far had any stains, rips or tears. So they are good quality items. So that I will say, but if you're reselling online, I would not suggest purchasing this. So thank you guys so much and have an amazing day.